Hello friends, welcome back to another cookie run video. This is my one week review of Popping Candy Cookie. So it's been about a week since Popping Candy Cookie has been released on Cookie Run and I've had a lot of cool and fun experiences with the event more so than the cookie and I'll explain why. So first of all, uh, with Popping Candy Cookie was the friendly run uh, coming back as an event and I had a lot of fun on stream playing with other cookie run players so if you're interested i will be streaming again once shining glitter cookie releases which should be uh, coming up soon so look forward to that so back to the topic of popping candy cookies review so from a thematic or story background for popping candy cookie he's really cool the story could have been a little bit more immersive and everyone had a really big hype for the fandom behind Poppin' Candy Cookie though, and I really enjoyed taking part in that too, but you know, it is what it is. It's kind of died down since. So Poppin' Candy Cookie's ability is to hold a concert and all five of the Cake Pops group will appear. And based on who appears or who sings, you would have to press the corresponding button. So in my preview video for Popping Candy, I said that Popping Candy, or my speculation for Popping Candy, is that it would kind of change up the game because from the preview, there were five buttons that pop up during the skill, which is unheard of before. Before you always only had the same two buttons over and over again. And so they had five buttons this time for Popping Candy. That means in the future, there are chances for other cookies to use more than those two buttons. On the other hand, once it's been released, I was kind of disappointed, as with other people that are more focused on the gameplay part of the game, that the buttons, even though there were three extra ones, the actual interaction, you just kind of spam the uh, skill buttons until they worked and there was no real uh, rhythm or skill involved with hitting those buttons to maximize the points in the skill which brings me to my point of um, to me popping candy cookies release was kind of disappointing because I feel like there was a missed opportunity with having extra buttons I, and also uh, their, reve their reveal video was talking about how this was a musically themed event and I was more looking forward to a just musically challenge well not musically challenging i was looking forward to a rhythmic kind of mini game when the cake pops popped out because it almost felt like you're just playing as the audience instead of the cake pops themselves so i was really hoping for kind of like a rhythm mini game so i felt there was kind of a missed opportunity with the extra buttons being there i just kind of spam all five buttons and there's no real uh downside to that so there is that in terms of impact for popping candy cookie in the rest of the game, uh, of course, the new cookies always become used in breakout. But as for trophy race, uh, popping candy cookie hasn't really seen much play except for happy party world. And yeah, that's that was basically it. So far, uh, he's even been replaced for a little bit with the night change for a little bit. And then now it's uh, marshmallows. So if you're looking for a high score or any of the game modes, I would not spend any special cookie chests or spirit potions for popping candy cookie and instead save it for, let's see if shining glitter cookie is better or just even max marshmallow, which seems to be doing really well in contrast. So yeah, this is it for my review of the popping candy cookie. If you liked it, subscribe for more content. And again, I will stream more cookie run with the release of Shining Glitter Cookie. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.